So one day you found a mushroom growing in your plant. You are not sure why this is happening, what to do about it, and you wonder if it's harmful to your plant, to you or your pets. By the end of this video you have all your answers. I will show you how to get rid of mushrooms and will explain how to prevent mushrooms from growing back. If this is your first time here, I am Juliette, the founder of My City Plants. We have greened up thousands of homes and offices in New York. We also have provided a professional plant maintenance service to our commercial clients. During all these years, I have learned a lot about house plants and how to care for them. Here, I am sharing what I know to help you to build successful, green, healthy relationship with your plants. Now, let's dive into the world of mysterious fungi. For some of you, it's not just surprising to find the mushroom growing in your plant, but also a little freakish. We expect to find mushrooms somewhere in a forest, under the tree, or in a supermarket. Just like these mushrooms that I got in a local supermarket, they are my props for the video so I can demonstrate everything better to you. The spores that are the cause of mushrooms growing can be found in a potting mix that is full and rich of all organic elements but also can be introduced through airborne movement. There is nothing to worry about. The issue can be fast eliminated and with just few simple care routine adjustments, mushrooms will disappear for good. Why is this happening? The answer is very simple. You are overwatering your plants. Plus, you might not have a sufficient airflow in your space. Warm temperature, moist soil, low air circulation create the perfect environment for fungus and or mold growth. Few mushrooms here and there are not harmful to your plant. This is just the first sign that something is not right with your care routine. If we do not take action, the fungus will take over, the roots will rot, and our plant will die. Mushrooms can be toxic if eaten to your pets and you. Do not let your pet to chew on those mushrooms and do not attempt putting them in your mouth or cooking a unique fungi dish. Now let's fix the problem and talk about how to prevent this from happening again. You need a pair of gloves, chopsticks, fresh soil, and lots and lots of positive attitude. The treatment is very easy. We need to remove the mushrooms and their roots by simply just scooping them out of the soil you want to dip your hand about two inches deep and just grab the mushroom and the soil and discard it. If you have a couple of, plant, uh, a couple of mushrooms, just remove those mushrooms and then you need to level up the soil. If you have many mushrooms growing in your plant, you need to remove top two inches of the soil and refresh the soil with the fresh layer. Yeah, just simply scoop it up, everything up, the mushrooms, the roots, the soil. Just make sure you get deep enough to get all the root system. Once you got the top two inches of the soil out, you can simply put the fresh layer. It is best to use a dry soil because we're trying to eliminate creating extra moisture in the environment in the pot. I'm going to turn it around, get fresh dry soil on the top, level it out, make sure it's in the right level. It should be right at the edge of the planter. Oh, there's another mushroom here. Now the plant is free of mushrooms. I will use chopsticks to aerate the soil to help it dry faster and get the oxygen circulation going. Simply gonna take the chopstick, stick it in a pot as deep as possible and make wide circles. And I'll repeat this around the plant. I'll fluff up the soil. 
Repeat this process of soil aeration once a week until the soil is dry. Now let's talk about four important points that will help prevent mushrooms from growing back and keep your plants happy overall. Always, always, always test the soil before watering your plant to make sure it's dry enough and your plant is ready for a drink. Test the soil as deep as possible around the plant. I use and strongly recommend soil moisture meter. You've seen me using this tool on all of my videos. We sell this tool in our online shop. Soil moisture meter will allow you to test the soil on a lower level and will help you to establish a proper watering routine. Keep soil free of debris and fallen leaves to prevent mold and fungus issue. Make sure your plant lives in the pot with drainage holes. Drainage is essential for preventing root rot and for proper oxygen circulation. If your plant is not potted in a pot with drainage, well, you know by now you need to repot it in a proper pot with drainage. Do not allow plants to stand in water. If your plant is potted in a traditional pot with a drainage hole, make sure to keep it saucer, water-free and clean. If your plant is just dropped in into the cachet pot, make sure there is no water standing at the pot's bottom. As I have mentioned in my previous videos, plants are not supposed to be kept in a plastic nursery pot. They need to be repotted in a larger planter and with the drainage holes, of course. If your plant is spotted in a lechuza planter, the planters that we use for all our plants, you have less to worry about. The built-in subirrigation system controls water supplies, provides drainage, and allows oxygen to get to the roots. In my opinion, lechuza self-watering planters are the best house for plants, period. The tips and tricks I have shared with you today will keep your plants healthy and mushroom-free. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel today where you can learn what is best for your plants and how to care for them. Like this video if you find it helpful. I also recently released a few new videos about common pest issues like mealybugs, spider mites, scale and nuts. If your plant is suffering from some kind of infestation, check those out, they will help you to save your plant. Now you know what to do, so go and save your plants and don't forget, people, make plants happy. Thank you for watching and have a green day.